Good day, my name is Richard and a warm welcome to Tutoring with Richard, where we cover the South African school syllabus and native topics. If you would like to help grow this channel, consider supporting me on PayPal, Patreon or Buy Me A Coffee. Links in the description box below. Today we're going to cover Strength of Materials in 6. The topic of this tutorial is a worked example 3.2 of combined bending and twisting of shafts. The question is included in the video. We have been asked to issue a cautionary note. When doing these questions, please use the method I'm going to show you, as this is the method that is marked correct. Using your own method to answer questions could cost you marks, even though your method and answer might be right. See the cautionary note at the beginning of the video. On a side note, watch until the end of the video. If you watch only the first five minutes, you will not gain a full understanding of what you need to do. There is no quick fix in strength of materials. It takes persistence, discipline and repetition. You have to use these steps in order to succeed. Let's get straight into it. Our question goes, a solid shaft with a diameter of 100 millimeters must transmit a torque. The maximum shear stress for the shaft is 60 megapascals and the angle of twist must not exceed 2 degrees. The length of the shaft is 3 meters and the modulus of rigidity is 80 gigapascals. Now we have to calculate the maximum torque which the shaft can transmit and 2 the power that the shaft transmits at 85 revolutions a minute if the maximum torque is 25% more than the mean torque. So let's get our data. Our diameter is 0, 0,1 meters. Our shear stress is 60 times 10 to the 6. Our theta is 2 degrees. Our length is 3 meters. And our G is 80 times 10 to the 9. Okay, so first things first. They want us to calculate the maximum torque the, trans the shaft can transmit. So, it will be T over J equals shear stress over R. So now we want torque. So torque equals shear stress times J over R. This is T max. This will give you your T maximum. So our shear stress is 60 times 10 to the 6 times pi times 0, 0,1 to the power 4 times 2 all over 32 times 0, 0,1 that is our formula that we will follow so all this torque the maximum torque now T max will be important for the next question And our torque is 11,781 kilo newton meters. Now, what we have to do is take the angle of twist into account. So that will be a slightly different formula. So it will be T equals G theta over R. Now this is the one that we're going to be using is this one here. You can work it out like this and you'll get that, but we haven't taken into account our two degrees. So, we've taken two degrees, now we need to convert those degrees into radians. So to convert degrees to radians we say pi times 2 over 180. And that'll give us our radian. And this is G over L. So, over 
J. So that's J. So let's us work out our T max with the formula that we are given over here at the bottom. And our formula for this, that one equals 0, 0, 0,0349 radians. Okay. So, T equals G, which is 80 times 10 to the 9 times 0, 0,0349. times pi times 0, 0,1 to the power 4 all over 32 times 3 and our and our torque is 9 comma 137 kilo newton meters that is our T max that we will be using. So nine comma one three seven kilo newton meters. Right. Now two. We're going to keep our torque, and we're going to get the power. power needed. Now we're going to take T max, T max, <coughs> is equal to T mean times 1 comma 2 5. Now that is 25%. So we divide by 1, 2, 5 and we get T mean. So 9, 137 divided by 1, 5 equals 7, 1 kilo newton meters. Now we put this into the power formula. So power, we want to find power now. So 2 pi n t mean over 60. So this will equal 2 pi n is 85. times, times, times 7 comma 1 times 10 to the 3 all over 60 and our power is 63 comma 198 kilowatts And that is our final sum. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. It helps to grow the channel. Positive feedback is most welcome. If you would like to see more videos like this, please consider supporting me on PayPal, Patreon or buy me a coffee. Links in the description box below. Be at peace, be kind to each other and remember passing well is achievable. Have a great day, looking forward to seeing you in the next video.